earthing at home. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain how to do earthing at home. Introduction to earthing at home. Have you ever experienced dimming of lights, especially when you turn on a larger appliance or an electric shock while making contact with electrical appliances or a very high electricity bill when your usage was not that much? If your answer is yes, then the problem might be with the earthing system of your home. If improper earthing could cost this much, then the absence of it would result in much more damage. So, if you do not have an electrical earthing in your home, then do it at once, as damage can occur at any time. You can do a perfect earthing on your own if you follow the rules properly. Okay, without further delay, let's get into work. Earthing at home Step 1. Select a place near the home to do the earthing. Ensure that the area has no water pipelines, drainage pipelines or gas pipelines. After ensuring the safety of the area, we can start preparations for the earth pit. Step 2. If the place is soft, use a shovel to dig the pit. But if it is rocky, use a land driller. But it is better to avoid rocky places. Dig the earth for up to 3 meters depth and its length and breadth of 1.5 meters each. Step 3. After excavating the pit, put a layer of charcoal, sand and earthing salt in the pit. Here, both salt and charcoal are good conductors of electricity. In order to enhance conductivity, salt and charcoal should be added as charcoal contains carbon and salt contains ions. Step 4. Next, take the grounding rod or earthing rod, where one end of the rod should be a conical tip. The other end of the rod should have an adjustable clamp. The diameter of the earthing rod should be of 20 millimeters. The length should be of 1500 millimeters. Step 5. Now, place the rod vertically inside the pit, such that the end with the clamp is at the top. Cover the remaining portions of the pit with layers of charcoal, sand and salt combination. Step 6. Once this is done, take the earth wire. This should be made of copper or galvanized iron. Also, the wire should have high conductivity property, high tensile strength, perfect dimensions and more importantly, it should be resistant to corrosion. Step 7. Connect the earth wire with the rod to the clamp. Now, with the help of the earth wire, connect the rod to the earthing bus of the main box. Step 8. Then, use the continuity tester and check its continuity. Step 9. Now it's time to construct a concrete or cement border around the pit. Step 10. In order to get good conductivity from the earth pit, we have to maintain its moisture condition by providing water on a regular basis. So, with this, our earthing system is ready. But be careful while opening the main box as it deals with electricity and follow the electrical safety rules without fail. Conclusion So, if you follow these steps properly, you can do a perfect earthing at your home. If you are unfamiliar with the technical terms, don't worry. Just contact a technician to do this task. We as an author will not be liable for any loss, injuries or damages if you try any circuit in the wrong format. Summary This brings us to the end of the lesson. In this lesson, we have learned how to do earthing at home.